Let's now learn how to script changing colored parts. Here in my workspace, you can see I have three cubes. I have a red cube, a blue cube, and a green cube. Let's now go to the server script service. We're going to enter a script to change the color of those cubes. In your script, just enter the following lines. On the first three lines here, I'm declaring three different variables. The first variable is going to reference to the red cube. Second variable is going to reference to the blue cube. And the third variable is going to reference to the green cube. Notice here there are two different ways of referencing to the workspace. You can say game.workspace with the capital W or you can simply just say workspace with the small w. Here I'm waiting for three seconds before I do anything. And now we want to change the color of the red cube. So I'm going to use the variable red. I'm going to say red dot brick color. And I'll give it a different color, a different brick color. So here equals to brick color dot. And then you have a drop down list. You can choose any color here you like. So I'm going to choose a new color for my red cube. So my red cube now, after three seconds, is going to turn yellow. This is one way of changing the color of the part. Now, if you want to have more color selection, you can do it this way. So let me just copy this so I don't have to retype it. We're going to wait for another three seconds, and then we're going to change the brick color again. But notice one thing here. If I do brick color dot, I get a drop down list, right? And there's not too many choices here. So if you want to have more choices here, you can say dot new. And then inside the parentheses, just put in double quotes. And now you have tons of different choices to choose from. So for example, my second brick right now is, is blue. I'm going to change it to, how about curry? Curry color. I'm also going to change this to the variable blue because if we say red here, it's, it's going to change the color of the red cube again. So here we're changing the color of the red cube. On the second part here, we're changing the color of the blue cube. And now if that is not enough color for you still, you want to have even more color than that, you can do this. So let's copy this. And down here, we're going to change the color of the green cube. So I'm going to say green here. And instead of changing the brick color of the green cube, I'm going to change the color property of the green cube. So I'm going to say color equals to color three dot new. And here you can see that there's uh, uh, some icons popping up underneath here for you, right? So the current color that you're changing to is black, but you can click on this palette here and you can choose one of millions of color in this palette. So um, my cube right now is green, right? So I'm gonna choose something different. How about I'm gonna choose something like yellow, yellowish, click okay. And by the way, I just wanna point out if you have your favorite color that you wanna use, you can search it up on the web and get the RGB number here. Just go and enter the, those numbers here and then you would have your specific color that you want to choose. For, for now, I just pick a color from this palette, which is yellow, and I'm going to click OK here. And that is how you can get millions of different colors to choose from. Real quick, I just want to explain the difference between brick color and color. So you have the brick color property and the color property. If you go to the part here, let's say if I go to the blue part here, right? Go to the properties window, you can see a brick color and you're going to see a color here. And no matter what you change, one of these two, for example, if I change this one to red, they're both going to change. If I change this one to something else like blue, light blue, you see they're both going to change. But remember, the color property, you have more choices. So when you pick a color from the color property, the system is going to try and match this color with the brick color, but it's not going to be an exact color because the brick color, you don't have as many choices. All right, so if you pick a color from the brick color, most likely the color property is going to match exactly, but not the other way around. Now let's put this back to blue. And let's go back to the script. There is one more thing I want to show you is that if you want to be adventurous, let me just copy these two lines here. So here we're changing the color of the red brick. We're changing the color of the blue brick and then we're changing the color of the green brick. 
and now we're going to go back to the first brick and change its color now again if you want to be adventurous you can let the system select a random color for you so here you're going to say red dot brick color equals to brick color dot and here you're just going to say random and now the system will pick a random color for the brick color I'm going to switch back to the workspace and let's now run and take a look. So give it three seconds and the first cube changed color to yellow. The second cube changed to yellow as well. And the third cube changed to yellow as well. Wow. And this is the random color. So we have selected all of the same color, I assume. So, so the first one is yellow. The second one is curry. Curry is kind of yellowish. And the third one that we have selected is also yellow. What luck! Luckily, our random color is green. And that is how you script a changing color part in Roblox.